Sometimes you just have that snack food craving that hits and you want something cool, refreshing, and maybe you're leaning towards some ice cream. But I'm gonna be sharing on this video a really easy and healthier alternative that you can make at home that is going to stop you from purchasing anything in those containers. Some are plastic, some are like cardboard lined with plastic. Uh, so there is still that chemicals and that smooth inside, similar to what's inside our coffee cups when we go to take away coffee. Uh, so I wanna share some of my favorite alternatives that I make from home that are totally plastic free healthier but still taste really good and satisfy my sweet tooth. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kara Michelle and I'm here to help you live your truth. So I'm talking all about ice cream today. <laughs> or in the vegan community as we call it, nice cream. So it's just like uh, animal product free. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to freeze a whole bunch of bananas. So whenever I go to the store, I always end up buying like an excessive amount of bananas and I wait and I let them ripen um, because if you actually eat fruit before it's ripe, then it doesn't digest as well. Um, and it obviously doesn't taste as well either. So making sure that the banana actually has those brown spots, that lets you know that it's ripe enough and that it's ready and it's the best um, it's the best for your digestion at that point as well. So I wait until they start to ripen and then I put the bananas in the freezer in a, in a bag and when I'm ready, when I want my nice cream, <laughs> I dive in and I make my own little ice cream at home, little smoothies. So what I like about this and what you can do is mix in either um, coconut milk powder if you have that. I know a few years back I brought a bunch of that back from Sri Lanka. I know not everyone would have that. Um, if you just have like oat milk or almond milk or different alternatives or you can actually make your own, which was something I was potentially planning to do but I haven't with Plastic Free July, is making your own plant-based milk whether you're using oats or whether you're using almonds, um, there, there are so many amazing ways to do that. But anyway, what I'm doing for making my nice cream is that I take anywhere from like three, uh, so I cut the bananas in half. So I would have like probably two full bananas, like four halves, right? Four little pieces. Put that in the blender, put in some oat milk or some almond milk, and then depending on what flavor you want. I love adding cocoa powder. So then I have like this really rich chocolatey nice cream to eat. Um, obviously the more milk you add, the more it becomes a smoothie. And so that's great, but it's kind of nice sometimes to actually have like the texture of ice cream. So you still feel like you're having that, that treat. So just add less milk when you're doing that, when you're blending it. So um, chocolate, like cocoa banana, or another one you could do is take peanut butter or almond butter if you have that at home and do like peanut butter banana ice cream. Oh, <laughs> it is so good. Or what you could also do um, in the summertime when like fruit is ripe and, and we've got all these amazing farmer's markets, I like to stock up on fresh fruit. So um, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and you could do like a strawberry banana ice cream or a blueberry, nice cream right you can mix but the bananas really help give it the the proper consistency so it helps to have some bananas in no matter what kind of flavor you're doing so here's what we've got is it was about five or six frozen banana probably four actually frozen bananas because they were four halves um, with a bunch of cocoa and some oat milk. And now we've got our, our nice cream. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited for this. This is just a really quick video today but a, a super easy and, and obviously much healthier alternative as well. And from someone who was addicted to sugar and like, I mean, addicted, like desserts after every single meal, 
popcorn every night. <laughs> I mean, I still like popcorn, but not nearly as much as I used to. Um, and like I needed, I craved cookies or cake or brownies or like all these things I'd make. I was baking stuff all the time because my sweet tooth was just so bad. So as someone who's like transitioned away from that because I really started to see how much the sugar and the processed sugar and processed foods were impacting all areas of my health. Um, it's been a little bit of a fun journey to try to transition and see that like fruit is actually so much better. And, and if you make it into a fun thing, then you still feel like you're having the treat. So it's a lot about like mindset and psychology here because I know for myself, like if I think, oh, I could have a bowl of ice cream or I could have a smoothie, well, one of those sounds really fun <laughs> and the other one sounds too healthy or something, right? At least that's what I used to think. Or like, oh, I could have, yeah, I could have a bowl of ice cream with like sprinkles or something, or I could have some fruit. Well, I know which one like my, my mind would have chosen in the past. So it's about kind of creating those fun alternatives. So you still get to feel like you're having that sweet, but it's a new a new way of doing it. So for me, I love having this like nice cream. And what you can also do sometimes, like if you think about having your bowl of ice cream or something and you have your little toppings on it. For me, if I'm making, say I'm making like the banana, um, banana, oat milk and cocoa powder, then I will use the granola recipe that I shared on one of the previous Plastic Free July. So make sure you go through the playlist and you can access that and get that recipe too. But I will just crumble up some of that granola on top of the nice cream. Or so if I have like the peanut butter banana or the chocolate banana or even the strawberry banana and then you've got this like nice chocolatey granola on top, it's so good. It's absolutely divine and you wouldn't even notice that you're not having real ice cream and you get to cut back on the plastics, you get to cut back on um, packaged products in general and um, things that might have chemicals or may have some different kind of processing in them, you know, like processed foods. And you also cut back on animal products, which is a huge, huge industry that also isn't good for us and has been kind of part of the brainwashing. And just like, don't harm any animals. You just get to eat some fruit and, and make it into a fun dessert that way. So I hope you try that out. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever made nice cream at home before and what your favorite uh, favorite combo is or which one you're going to try out from the ones that I've shared today. And if you haven't already, please make sure you comment. I'm creating a healthy planet and screenshot and share on Instagram. Tag myself, Real Care Michelle and Tag Healthy Planet for entries into our giveaway. We're giving away two plastic free starter kits as well as some fun little bonus things that I'm excited to throw in there for you. And uh, you can enter the giveaway and it's our thank you for being a part of this movement this month and for being aware of your plastic use and trying to make some changes for yourself and for the planet. So make sure you enter that. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for being here. And as always, just keep being you, keep making a difference. Every little bit adds up.